Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we are in the garage getting ready to post the rest of the video of the rig walk around for the FJ Cruiser. What you guys are about to see is going to be some of the storage solutions that I've come up with and power solutions as well. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I also wanted to hit on the interior of my truck so you guys can see how I have mine set up. There's a million different ways to do this, but this has just been what's been perfect for me as of late. Um, so starting off with the smallest item, I have a RAM mount, which is what I use to hold my phone when I am overlanding. And I also run the Gaia app and I just leave it right there so I can see where I'm going or mark locations as I'm moving along. I'm also running a CB radio. This is a fairly old radio. Um, one of the groups I used to off-road with only ran CBs. Uh, I know those are on the way out now and there's a bunch of other solutions for radios. Um, but that is what I have in the truck currently. As far as electronics, I am running an S-Pod. This thing has been awesome. I've had it in the truck for years. Um, I've used it to run the front locker, the dual ARB air compressor, and all the lighting on the truck. I like it because it also gives you that little gauge on the status of your battery as well. Um, one of the other things that I found to have a huge problem with, like most FJ people or even overlanders have an issue with, has been storage. So my solution for storage on this vehicle has been to turn to Goose Gear um, to help me out with this issue. So I have a 120 pound Alaskan Malamute um, and he was always in the seat and he couldn't seem to get comfortable. So I deleted the smallest seat and put this platform in and now he fits in there perfect, which is where he sleeps when I'm up in the rooftop tent. Uh, now moving around the back of the truck, I also wanted to show you guys my solution for um, the fridge and grill. I used to just bring a cooler and once I started getting into the longer trips out in Colorado, uh, the ice was just melting and then all my food would be soggy by day four, day five of the trip. So I'm currently running a Dometic CFX 45 fridge. Uh, that fridge has been awesome. I like it because you can control it from an app on your phone and select the temperature you want to set that thing at um, and not think about it too much. As far as power for the fridge, I'm running the Dometic PLB 40 battery. Uh, and this thing has been awesome. I've been able to use it to power not only my camera gear, but the fridge for almost five days straight um, without having to start my truck again. Um, but the cool thing is when the truck is running, you just plug it into your cigarette lighter and it char constantly charges as long as your truck is running. Um, so it's really hard to run this battery dead if I'm being completely honest. As far as the drawers, I went with a 12 inch deep drawer um, just for some more organization. I have some dividers coming for the inside of that drawer to make the organization even a little bit better. Um, but just bear with me as those have not got in yet. Then I'm also running the uh, fridge slider from Goose Gear as well. Uh, I believe this is called the Camp Kitchen 2.0 with this extra extension down in the bottom for a fridge or for the stove, I'm sorry. I'm not running anything special when it comes to the stove. This is just a Coleman camp stove. I know you can get some extremely fancy stoves, but this has been able to get the job done for me for multiple years at this point in time. The only other thing I do wanna add to this is uh, Goose Gear also makes a plate that goes in here to where you can put your utensils in um, so you don't have to worry about where your utensils are at. Um, overall, I feel like this has solved my organization issues pretty well. The only other thing I want to get is the company called Front Runner makes some collapsible boxes that fit in here almost perfectly. Uh, so that'll probably be my next purchase for the truck moving forward as far as organization goes. Um, the only other thing that I want to add to my truck is they make a Molly system that can either go on the roof of the FJ or the side windows. And the only reason I want to do that is because I haven't been able to find a place to put my uh, ladder for the rooftop tent, which drives me crazy with it just being in here loosely banging around as I'm driving. Um, so that rooftop tent has a foam mattress in it and with the ladder inside of there you can't close the tent so this company also came up with a uh, air mattress that lets all the air out of it um, and it's supposed to be pretty comfortable as well i just ordered that so hopefully with that new mattress i'll be able to fit the ladder up inside the tent and won't have to deal with that ladder banging around anymore um, but that is the inside of my fj and a couple of issues that i'm still trying to fix moving forward on my truck you guys have any questions Leave it down in the comments, and I'll try to get to them as soon as I can. Thanks.